For a second there, I thought it said I had a low battery sign. I don't know, that flashing continue. But we're back to the Punch-Out Wii LP, and uh, we're about to fight Don Flamenco. He was pretty hard for me the first time I fought him in regular mode, and title defense doesn't get much better. <laughs> Pretty frustrating. I think it's the first really, really frustrating fight I fought, especially since he was so easy in Mike Tyson match on the NES. He actually, you actually fought him again in that one too, um, and he was actually pretty hard the second time as well. So, but the first time fighting him, I'm, I was like, "What? You? How were you this strong?" And he apparently decided to just start lifting weights immediately in that valley, but. Th that the cutscene was showing in, by the way. By the way, that walk, that walk he did look so awkward for some reason. Um, you once again uh, do the things that you did last fight, but they're faster. I'm not, I don't seem to be, oh, by the way, that number at the top of that, that heart meter goes down if you, uh, if, if the opponents block you or punches, so. I think you know how to dodge that. It's pretty obvious how. I thought the star punch would knock him down, but it just, it only almost knocked him down. But yeah. Um, I do like that. I do like the look on his face when he misses. Like that. That is actually pretty satisfying for me. <laughs> uh, I am not. You know. Okay. Then again, he's not exactly the nicest guy on the planet, so. And I have no idea how he dodged my star punch, but that shouldn't have happened, but at least I got to see the look on his face when he missed. Don't we missed. Let's hope I can knock his wig off in this round, because the effects of his anger wear off between rounds. Usually I don't. Usually I, I take it off early in the second round, so I have to wait till the third round to actually do anything. No, I'm gonna have to take him into the second round. I think. Yes, it's official. I have to take him into the second round. What's your favorite flower, son? Mine's chocolate. I don't really think they should have made that rage thing that happens when you knock off his wig. Maybe you should have like. Maybe you could have, but uh, you know, maybe it sh it should have been not as deadly, not as annoying. Um, when it happens, and I I dread. See? It's happening. Just like in the last one. If you saw the last episode, you know how annoying this gets. You know, you can't combo him. And he has that attack rate. Well, you can combo him, but not for, uh... Not... Not all the time. It's a lot less frequent, I guess, with the word. That's the phrase I'm looking for. The words I'm looking for. Have I taken a hit on him yet? I don't think I have. Did I take it on him in the last fight at all? I I'm talking... He, he, he manages to be annoying, even if he doesn't land a hit on me. I, I mean, he is, even if I don't land a hit on him. That used to not be the case, by the way. I used to get hit by him up. I, uh, I guess I can't say that anymore. I guess I have to... From now on, I have taken a hit from him in this playthrough. For the record. At least once. So... Twice, I guess. Now. Sorry my reactions are a little bit, like, a second or so late to when it happens. I guess I'm just trying to find the right word to say. 
Maybe I'm not that delayed, but I know this disorientating, disorienting. So I'm not disorientating. Sometimes I say that as a joke, but. Okay, the, the question has already been answered. The answer is to pay. As in, in the last battle, it was answered. Um, what else to say about this guy? Sometimes he does two punches at, at immediately after each other, and so you actually can't get, like, uh... Which is annoying, because then, you know, you'll punch him, but it won't do anything. Because, like, here's the thing, like, when he punches, and he's about to do a punch immediately afterward, if you try to counterattack, he'll block it. And then sometimes he won't do the other punch, so... You'll have to wait, so sometimes I have to wait a little bit for him to make sure I can punch. I used to just duck all of those uh, punches where he says like uno, dos, tres, but uh, I'll, I, I used to uh, duck all those. But now, but uh, until I figure out that if you dodge it, you'll actually get a star. So. <laughs> you'll get a star for a star punch. Let's hope he stays down. He does stay down, my folks. My friends. My fine feathered friend. I guess I'll do Aaron Ryan in this episode as well, but I'll leave the last three. Four. The next episode. I know it's a bit of a weird spacing, but pacing, I guess. But, you know. Then again, may, <laughs> I guess people are probably going to be down. Are probably not going to be. To, people want to see Aaron Ryan the next fight, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, if you were familiar with this game, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go to the next circuit. Hey, great work, Max. Now let's take down the next challenger. Anywho, um, <laughs> we just have to wait for this montage to finish. Cutscene. I think this is the last one of these we'll see, so goodbye, uh, training cutscenes. I'll miss you, since people seem to like you a lot. And here we end with just the generic, uh, daytime one. No rain, nothing. They had, like, one evening shot, one night shot, and one, like, rainy shot. I think that was... In order, that would be... Aaron Ryan. Title bout. Oh boy. Well, we're about to see something kind of interesting. <laughs> well, let's just see. I think I'll press A to start. Because uh, this will get kind of interesting. Foreshadowing, my friends. This is, that was, for, that's going to be a bit of foreshadowing. Giggling and giggling maniacally. So so far it doesn't seem that bad. You just counter his attacks like you usually did. Uh, you do an extra. He'll do an extra attack, which will allow you to. Do. Well, you can see you can see what's happening. Um, it doesn't seem that much worse now, but oh. <laughs> Yes! He did that. I, I don't think that needs words. Everything that could have that's been said about it has pretty much already been said. Not to mention he does a oh make sure you duck. When he's about to fall down, he will whip his like glove thing again to make sure you duck. When that happens. Yeah, that's gotten a lot of attention considering how, you know, not it's not exactly that legal. <laughs> In boxing, and he also does. If you notice, he also does stuff like arm throws. Uh, not that, like he he'll do like that elbow thing, is what I meant to say. I know I called it an arm throw. 
yeah, he'll like elbow you. You're not supposed to, you know. Elbows don't have gloves, so it seems a bit uncouth. Yeah, Aaron Ryan doing something uncouth. Imagine. I, I just can't imagine that happening. Oh, my health is full. As much as I'm talking about, like, talking him up, like, oh, God, this guy. I haven't taken a hit from him yet, so. I guess he's all bark, no bite this time. At least he shouts no when you're about to hit him. That's satisfying. Ah, uh, funnily enough, in Super Punch-Out on the Super NES, he was one of the few fighters that actually fought clean, and he looked quite a few, a bit, quite a bit different in that game. Um, he actually looked like a bit, I don't know, he was a lot more, uh, buff, I guess. He was also a bit more, oh, quite a bit more generic there. Here, here, he's mainly, you know. Here, her dear god. That sideways glance, that can only mean one thing, trouble. Let's hope I don't lose my star, don't lose my star. Yay, I did not lose my star. My stars, I mean, plural. Let's hope I can get, continue that, because that'll be kind of good for like this. Knock him. Alright then. As my, even, the ironic thing is that even though he's cheating, this is still pretty easy to dodge and, like, counter, so... I don't really see, you know... This is actually kind of funny, like, when he's not cheating, he's actually a bit more difficult than when he is cheating. So, that's, that's the irony for me. That's the... So, yeah. You've been hated and you're not even gonna win, Aaron. Seen Aaron spell? Actually, I've seen a name Aaron, but still with like E R I N. Yeah, you get launched on those ropes. You. I don't even know how you got tangled, but you deserve that. You deserve that, Aaron. Uh, I guess I'll go for Soda Popinski in this fight as well. Soda Popinski. I should probably mention that I don't try to. Stand on top. Take it all in, kid. Remember what this feels like, baby. Um, what was I going to say about Sohopinski? Oh, yeah. I can't beat him unless I don't take a single hit on him. I should probably mention that, because the thing is, uh, the more consecutive times you hit him, the more you can, uh, the more he actually, uh, like, the more times you'll be able to hit him each time you stun him. And I and because he become he stops attacking in a regular pattern near the end of the fight. I like later in the fight. I need to get him in the first round, like without taking a hit. That's the weird thing. If I do, I can only beat him if I like don't. I guess it's a bit weird. It's like I I need to do it perfectly to actually do it at all. But I know for some reason that feels a bit ironic to me. Wait, same rules as last time. Be sure to duck his punches. If I get hit once, I will restart the fight. I'm, I'm serious. But yeah, dodge his uppercuts, duck his regular punches, or dodge the right. And he throws two regular punches, then two uppercuts for the for this little part. Then he stopped being so predictable, but... Um, yeah. If he hits you, you lose your sort of, uh, you don't get to punch him as many times when he's stunned. You, you go back to two times. And that happened, it seems. And it seems the placebo effect is working against me now. Because I am starting to do less good at him. Let's see if I can still win, actually. If I lose my title to Soda Popinski, um... Uh... Um... The 
first time in this fight, the first punch he'll throw will be like a regular one. Yikes, he is getting me. I think I'm gonna restart this. Sorry, but you know what? I'm. I need to, you know. If I don't do it perfect, I don't do it at all. In this fight, for me. Um, I usually have a pretty easy time with them, half, usually. Uh, it's the funny thing. LP curse, I guess. I'm gonna stop doing that, because it's a pretty cliched thing. I'm just saying that's probably still applicable in my situation. Even though I prefer to say applicable, but who cares? What else to say? Uh, I kind of avoided the last one there narrowly. I don't see how, like, when I punch him, he ends up getting, like, launched. I have no idea how why he ends up getting launched into the air. But again, now we're at our little predictable series of uppercuts, so. And the next one he'll throw will be just a regular punch that I duck, so. Son of a gun. Son of a moose. Son of a... Son of a female dog. I still beat him. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I didn't take a hit, but I beat him. I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, not under practiced, so that's why I wasn't able to do it. Usually I can pretty easily take him down without getting hit, but if I do get hit, I usually fail. I, I just got lucky there. And we're gonna go for the last three opponents in the game. Maybe. And spoilers, even though you probably know what I'm gonna... Even though you probably know the spoiler already, but I'm not gonna spoil it for those who don't want spoiled. We'll take off the last three opponents in title defense in the next episode. Goodbye.